right, and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a little something special and show you a tour of our homestead in progress. You've already seen little clippets of our front yard and some clippets of our backyard. I wanted to show you a more in detail tour and the plan for our homestead and where everything's gonna go. This is where I wish I would have picked up the camera earlier. No, we do not live on a tropical beach. We brought up some fill from our sand pit to level out our backyard. Uh, we did a lot of landscape change and still doing a lot of landscape change. There were trees here and here. There's a huge rock and a big old mountain. So what we're doing now is taking in fill from our sand pit just to try and level it out here and have a proper backyard. We're also moving our access road from here to over here a few feet further. We're also gonna be building a rock wall and leveling everything out. Give you a sneak peek. So basically, there'll be a bunch of rocks and then a bunch of grass. That'll be very exciting. But now, on to the parts that you haven't seen. So you have seen this area a little bit. We have my raspberry bushes and my rows of potatoes and sunflowers. But I wanted to show you guys an exciting little update. I noticed how bushy the raspberry bushes are. Look at how full. It won't be long now until we are picking raspberries. Another update. I ended up weeding half of this bed this morning. It was way too hot. But we've got some potato plants. I am so excited. Let's keep going. So this is the first very exciting part of our property. This is where we're gonna have our pigs. We noticed that there was a natural clearing just the other side of the streets that uh, we are working at expanding. Let me go in the shade. So back there, you can kind of see it, some sunlight peeking through. We are having our pigs. But thanks to recent world events, the land clearing has taken, has taken a little pause we can't get as much help as we would like. There was also a fire ban at the beginning of this year, so we couldn't burn a lot of the wood that we cleared. And then right over there, just past the trees, is where we'll have our cows. I'll show you. So as you see, a lot of clearing has been happening. This area here was actually all pasture before, and it was just very overgrown. So when we were able to have help over, Jesse and his friends decided to just start going at her and start burning and cutting all this wood. So this is coming along very well, still a lot of work to do, but this is where we'll have our cows. And just over this little row of trees, that's the pig area. sand pit. This is where we've been pulling most, most of our fill from. But there's plenty of bugs right now so we are moving on. Over there is also where Jesse eventually wants to build a cabin and this year he's trying to plant some corn. So we'll see how that goes. This was definitely our favorite part of the property. We bought our property about two years ago, almost to the date. And when we first saw the property, I wanted horses. I rode horses as a little girl and 
I wanted them right away. I'm like, we have the space, why not go for it? Um, but then we realized horses cost more money than they'll make us. So that is when the plan of other livestock came in. And I'm gonna go find a shady spot and tell you guys a little more about it. All right, so like I mentioned before, our property we bought about almost two years ago to the date, and it is 85 acres. We got really lucky getting our property. Um, we know the neighbors very well and they know the history of the property. Bug, go away, go away. And just by looking at the property, you can tell there were a lot of gardens and a lot of pasture that has just overgrown. So we've been working very hard at restoring the property to its former glory. So on this 85 acres, we have field, woods, trails, sand pit, and a pond. There's so much diversity in land on this property and it really excited us. There's so many options. It, we had to really sit down and decide what we wanted to do with it all because there was just too many possibilities. We want to build a cabin. We want to board horses. We want to raise livestock. We want to grow food. Mm, sounds like there's something behind me. Ah. I really wish I would have picked up the camera earlier and showed the full process of starting up our homestead. So this is really what our YouTube channel is going to be. You're going to see everything. You're going to see us preparing our pastures. You're going to see us getting our pigs. You're going to see how we transform this property into our homestead, into something that will provide food for our family. We're gonna make mistakes. We're gonna learn stuff the hard way, but I'm excited to have you guys here along with us. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of our homestead and I cannot wait to show you more. See you next time.